What's up guys, it's time to take a look at the official Android 9.0 Pie based Samsung Experience 10.0 UI. Now this actually got leaked a couple of days ago and it's currently for the Qualcomm Galaxy S9 family. So for all the Exynos boys and girls, you gotta have to wait for the official beta that is coming pretty soon. So what is new with this brand new Samsung Experience 10.0 UI? We're gonna take a look at all the new changes and everything. And obviously I can't do the testing because it's not even a beta right now, so we gotta wait for that. Anyways, let's dive into the update review because this is a big one. A lot of new changes are here. So starting off with the lock screen, as you can see, we have uh, a different position for the time. It is now in the middle. And you can also see the change in the lock screen shortcuts. So now it's just two colors, uh, green for the phone dialer and blue for the camera. I don't know if it looks nicer compared to the icons. I probably prefer the icons, but yeah, this is how it is. And then we also have our notification right below the time and the calendar stuff. So a little bit chain lock screen, but what about the home screen? So you can see uh, it is looking same on first look, but we have some changes. For example, with the navigation bar keys, we actually have a different recent key. So now it's looking a little bit different. And there's a reason why they changed that because we also have a change in the recent menu you know the whole look is different we're gonna take a look at that later but other than that you can see the time and the date information over here is different it's kind of like the pixels on glance widget so the time the date the month the weather now we also have some changes with the status bar the battery indicator has been moved all the way to the right and in my opinion it looks really really good compared to this one like it's kind of crowded here so now battery is is at the far right and along with that we have the sim signal and then a couple of notification the time has been moved to the left side entirely so bit of a different chain other than that the actual launcher look remains the same there is a difference with the font on the new samsung experience 10.0 ui now speaking of the launcher you can actually install this on any samsung phone that runs android oreo so so all of you can't update to the experience 10.0 ui whether you have an exynos galaxy s9 family or note 9 or any other samsung phone with oreo you can actually side load this on your phone so pretty much like i said launcher is actually the same with some few changes so first up is the change of animation with Bixby so instead of having a slow sliding Bixby you now have a fast opening Bixby so a little bit different but it's definitely faster to access either way I'm probably gonna turn it off but if that's your thing uh, it is actually much faster with this uh, Samsung Experience 10.0 UI launcher. And obviously there's a quick change with the menus as well. So you can see a little bit different color. It's more whitish and more filled compared to this one. And the actual home screen look is also changed. So this is all creamy white look, but now here, we have the dark on white look. So it's actually standing out a bit more. One of the biggest change here with the Samsung Experience UI is the addition of the night theme. So you can actually have a dark theme on any Samsung phone if you want to, and that will require a separate theme. But now uh, this is coming built in. So uh, it's gonna be more optimized. And as always, this is one step ahead from Google's uh, dark mode or night theme, whatever it is. So it is one step ahead from that. And that's why within this launcher, you can actually see uh, the black background. And on top of that, we have this white menus to stand out more. So, so you will have the option to have the night theme on or you can have the normal white theme like the current Samsung UI. Uh, there is a bit of a change, of course, with the font everywhere. So this is the night theme, couple of options. You can turn it on all the time or have it turn on as scheduled or turn on in the dark where your phone will recognize if you're in a dark environment, it's automatically gonna change that. So that's pretty cool. And we also have the decrease brightness option, which will automatically going to decrease the brightness once you turn on this dark or night theme. Now this is going to be pretty good with the battery life because uh, we have super AMOLED display and with the dark stuff, it will save a lot of juice. So you will see a uh, better battery results with this night theme. Also, there's a bit of a change. Instead of advanced features, we now have a motion and gesture tab that includes all the 
um, the stuff that we used to see here. So we have uh, pretty much the same options that we had before, but now there's a new one, which is lift to wake. So just like on the Pixel phones, the phone will wake up automatically when you pick it from the surface. So that's cool. And now this is how your recent menu will look like. So with kind of like this, you have a different recent menu button as well. So uh, it is similar to what we have seen with the Good Lock application. And it's also very similar to the stock uh, Google recent menu. So we have this huge preview of the application. You can actually close all the applications by pressing this key. And we have some of the used apps here as well. So instead of having the close all at the end, we have it here all the time on the middle. And you can do the split screen multitasking by holding on to uh, the application icon. Now, just like with the previous uh, Samsung updates, we have a material update of design with every single Samsung application. So, so this is how your phone dialer will now look. So a bit of a different font. We also got some new options here, the keypad, the recent context and places. So you can quickly swipe in between, which is different compared to this one. So if you turn on the night theme, this is how your notification panel will look. So a completely different uh, look of the icons compared uh, to the older Samsung Experience UI. So it's much cleaner, I would say. And it is very similar to the look of the Google Pixel um, Android 9.0 by notification look. But Samsung has taken this to the next level because your actual notifications are now in dark as well, which is something that you don't see on the Pixel. So I have the night theme enabled here, but still my notifications are in white color. So with Samsung's version, you're gonna see the dark notification as well. And this is how your overall settings and menus will look. A uh, very clean look, I would say, uh, dark and then white. We have a welcoming night theme option here uh, in the display section, so that's nice. A quick change with the battery options as well. So now instead of mid, max, it's now medium power saving mode, maximum power saving mode. So just a little bit change there. And they also changed the look a little bit. And this is the dialing menu. So when someone calls you, if you have the dark mode enabled, this is how it's going to look. And this is how the messaging application look completely dark with blue and white background, which again stands out a lot. And also we have the dark our keyboard look as well and with the night theme enabled you also get changed with the big speed it has its own dark ui as well we also have a huge change with the samsung internet application so instead of having the options over there on the top right we have them in this beautiful landscape order so it looks really neat just a quick material design change with the my files application slight design change of the camera application as well it seems like the ai integration is coming here as well also instead of having all the modes on the top we now have the bixby vision and ar emoji over there but the auto mode is now here so you can actually switch from here uh, to the different modes, so that's a bit of a change. Now, last but not the least, we have the gesture support as well. Finally, with Android 9.0 Pie, we have the gestures, and it's not similar to Google. Uh, Samsung likes to call a swipe up action, so, so pretty much this is how it's going to work. Your navigation bar keys will be completely hidden, and in order to perform the action, you have to swipe at the bottom. So if you want to go to home, you will swipe from the bottom like this. It will go to home. If you want to go to the multitasking tray, you will go here. If you want to go back, you will go here, depending on which position you have with the back and the recent keys. So yeah, it is different from Google's uh, implementation. Obviously, Google implementation is a little bit like iPhone, so Samsung always have its own way to do things. So that's what they are doing. If you don't like this, you can still have the good old navbar keys here. So you don't actually have to use uh, the gestures. So. so yeah, guys, that's all we have on the Android 9.0 Pie based Samsung Experience 10.0 UI. Again, this is currently for the Qualcomm S9 family, which means if you live in US or if you are in China, then you probably can install this leaked build. Although it is very unstable, I would highly recommend you to wait for the first beta, which will arrive for the Exynos and probably for the Qualcomm model as well. And when that happens, I will be installing it and will be testing out the speed and do all kinds of stuff and see the benchmarks and everything. But right now it is pretty broken, but it did show all the 
the new changes and features that they are going to implement with this update. So let me know what's your favorite new change here. Uh, mine obviously is the implementation of the night theme of default with the experience UI. It's going to help the battery life a lot. Can't wait for the beta to come out. But uh, yeah, this is everything new. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.